Hello, my name is Shannon Zimmerman, or Miss Zimmerman, and I will be your student's third grade teacher this year. I'm sorry you couldn't make it to back to school night, but this video hopefully will give you a little bit of insight into what we'll be doing this third grade school year. So in this video, we'll, have, we'll go over our classroom norms, as well as some of the curriculum that we'll have this school year. In this classroom, there's only one major rule. This rule is think before you speak. I think it's really important for students to um, heed this rule because oftentimes students need to realize what they're going to say before they say it. And this will help create a classroom that's safe for all the students to be wrong and make mistakes, which is really important for learning. And it's also important so that students respect themselves, their teachers, and the other students in the classroom. Throughout the school year, we'll also come up with five other major rules that our classroom chooses to follow. In the past, they've been things like only five people at the pencil sharpener, and raise your hand when you want to speak, or um, everyone line up quietly. These are some of the examples of rules we've had in the past that we will make up new ones as a class at the beginning of the school year. This year, we will be learning and solidifying our multiplication and division facts. To help your child at home with this, you should give them the practice minute rocket math, which will come home uh, during the first week of school. We will practice our rocket math, and they, there will be a practice section on the one they take home. So make sure to do those about a minute. You time your student, have them try and complete the rocket math, and um, that will help solidify some of those math facts, multiplication facts. You can also... Um, try and buy some division or multiplication flashcards. And these can be purchased at the dollar store or um, pretty much any grocery store, or you can make your own. They're pretty easy to make. We will also be learning in reading to um, solidify our reading and make sure that we're really good readers because that will really help us on in, in future life. So for reading, it'd be great to help your student at home to read for at least 15 minutes a day. You can read with your child or just have your child read. But after your child reads, make sure to ask them questions about the story. These questions will really help your student to work on comprehension skills or learning to apply those what they read in the story to real life situations and make some connections. I'm positive that this school year will be a great year, and I look forward to working with you and your student this year. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to contact me at any time. My information is located all on the school website. I look forward to working with you and your student once again, and we'll see you this year.